Okay, now let's look at adding the KPI to the report. We're gonna add it to this section up here that already has the total production. So here's my report. I'm gonna put the KPI in edit mode and then I need to add a column. Now, let's configure the title first quickly. It's gonna be a text type and let's say monthly total oil in, oh, in produced water. Save. Now to add the KPI, I'm gonna use a template. I'm gonna use a level indicator with a reference value like this, so that's perfect, we'll add that. So now I click on it to edit it. I've got a default value in here of one, two, three, four, but I'm gonna take the tag that I added to my basket, drag it in there, units standard meters cubed, that's perfect. Maximum 2000, that's a bit much. The maximum realistically is gonna be four. The reference value of 2000 is too much. Let's say I've got a limit of three meters cubed for the month and those other things are okay. So let's save that. Okay, ah, now I can see here the decimal places are wrong. I need a few more decimal places in this. Let's add three. Okay, there we go. So that looks nice. I'm happy with that. And uh, that's it. That's the KPI added to the report. And for the subject of another lesson can be how to then use this with the automated reporting tool. But that's it. I hope that was useful. That's how to create a virtual time series of the oil in produced water and then add it to a report.